in this video let us look into converting degree measures into radian measures in the previous video we did the other way around converting radian measures into degree measures in this video we're going to convert degree measures into radian measures so one of the degree measures that we're going to convert is 340 degrees so how are we going to convert 340 degrees into a radian measure we know that one degree equals pi by 180 radians so if one degree equals a pi by 180 radians then 340 degrees is equal to 340 times pi by 180 radians which is nothing but um, 2 goes 17 times in 34 and 9 times in 18 so i think we have uh, 17 pi divided by 9 radians so that's how you just have to stop here as far as the radian is concerned when you're converting a degree measure into a radian measure you do not substitute the value of pi by 22 by 7 as in the case of a degree because it's the radian is just measured like this 340 degrees when converted to radian measure reads 17 pi by 9 radians so let's look into another degree measure that we can convert it into a radian measure so we've got here uh, 40 degrees and 20 minutes. So how do you convert 40 degrees and 20 minutes into a radian measure? So all that you have to do is just take this minute and change it into degree. So you know that uh, 1 degree equals 60 minute. So 1 minute equals 1 by 60 degrees, right? So if 1 minute equals 1 by 60 degrees, then 20 minutes equals 20 by 60 degrees. So that is nothing but 40 degrees and 20 by 60 degrees. So that makes it what? 1 by 3, right? So that makes it 41 by 3 degrees. So 41 by 3 degrees is nothing but converted to a mixed fraction. You have 3 times 40, 120. 120 plus 1 is 121. So you have 121 divided by 3 degrees to be converted to radian measure, right? So all that you have to do is 121 times 3 uh, divided by 3 times pi by 180 radian. So now on simplification, you get you, there's no simplification, it's just 121 times pi is 121 pi divided by 180 into 3 is 540. So therefore, 40 degrees and 20 minutes is 121 pi by 540 radians. So this is the conversion that is there. So before we conclude this video, let's quickly work on another conversion of a degree measure into a radian measure. So the other one that we have to convert is 5 degrees, 37 minutes and 30 seconds. So in this case, you first have to convert the seconds into minutes and then the minutes into degrees so now this should be written as now since it's 30 seconds is a little easier it becomes uh, 5 degrees 37 minutes and well 37 and a half a minute right so 37 and a half minute is nothing but th 2 times uh, 37 is 74 74 plus 1 is 75 by 2 minutes which is now we just have to convert it 5 degrees 75 by 2 into 1 by 60 degrees this is so here we have 15 goes 4 times and 5 times so we've got uh, 5 by 4 so we can write this as uh, 5 5 by 4 times 2 is 8 5 5 by 8 degrees so we have to convert this to a mixed fraction we have 8 times 5 is 40 40 plus 5 is 45 by 8 degrees so converting this degrees into radian is simple because if it 1 degree equals pi by 180 rad radians then 45 by 8 degrees equals to 45 by 8 into pi by 180 radians right so 45 goes 4 times so we have pi by 32 radians so this is the converted form so when you convert 5 degrees 37 minutes and 30 seconds into radian measure, the answer that you get is pi by 32 radians. And this is how we do it. First you have to convert the seconds into minutes and then minutes into degrees. 
once you convert it into degrees if it is a mixed fraction make it an improper one and then once you have it in degrees all you have to do is just multiply it with pi divided by 180 and it's straight away converted into radians so this concludes this problem as well as this video i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on the various concepts that we've solved based on measurement of angles